I experimented with Crea AI's new video feature, and this happened. For those unfamiliar, Crea AI is a powerful design tool that allows users to generate, upscale, and enhance images. But now, Crea AI has expanded its capabilities with its new video AI generation tool. And look, there are a whole bunch of new AI tools hitting the market. It's tough to know what's worth your time exploring and what might just be a pass. So today, I'm gonna take you through the process of generating a video with Crea AI's new tool. Then, I'm gonna fill you in on what I like about the tool, what I don't, and whether I think it's worth your time. Let's get started. All right, here we are, Crea AI's new video tool in all its glory. Let's take a quick tour, shall we? You'll notice on the whole, the platform is very simple and relatively easy to use. Starting on the left, we have our generate video and download buttons, standard. Just below, we have four styles that you can choose from, film, render, animation, and experimental. Each of these styles represents a unique way to generate a new video. Next, we have the video timeline. You'll notice that there are two rows, keyframes and text prompts. First, before we get started, let's set a duration for our clip. In the upper right here, you'll notice that there's a clip duration along with the number. This represents the number of seconds, so we can go as low as one or as high as 10. For this example, let's just set it at five for right now. Now to start generating a video, we need to enter a keyframe. We can click anywhere in the timeline to create this pop-up window that allows us to upload an image. We also have the ability to generate a new one using Crea AI, upload from let's say Midjourney or some other external source, or use images that we've previously used prior. For this example, let's add in some sunflowers. We can click out of this box, and now this is the part that initially had me a little bit confused. I thought that the text prompts were a way to generate video or potentially add an image and morph it in some way, shape, or form. What they actually are, are a way to add movement to each one of your scenes. So as you'll see, scene with a dynamic motion of, and so what we'd wanna do is apply some sort of dynamic motion to our sunflowers. So in this example, let's just say blowing in the wind. Perfect, so now when we click off of that, we'll have this sunflower image blowing in the wind. Now in my experimentation, you don't always have to include these and sometimes the output is actually better when you don't. I guess what I'm trying to say here is don't sweat the text prompt motion too much. Maybe just add something to your scene, but from what I've noticed, it doesn't make a massive difference. Now, in my experimentation, these videos really shine when there's multiple images within them. It warps from one scene to the next in a really, really cool fashion. So to add another scene here, we're gonna add another keyframe. So let's go ahead and add these pink looking tulips. And for these, we'll just say basking in the sun. You know, I really chose a category that makes adding dynamic movement pretty hard, but we're gonna roll with it anyway. And now for the last image, I'm going to use these red tulips. And these will be, let's say, growing in the sun. So I've tried to add dynamic movement to each one of these. Whether it actually takes or not is gonna be a totally separate thing, but just so you can see, this is how it's supposed to be done. And the last thing we can do before we generate here is actually stretch these out a little bit. There we go. So now we have our three images here and each of them have a text prompt below of blowing in the wind, basking in the sun, and growing in the sun. Now, before we hit generate video, I just wanna show you that there are a settings menu and there's a few settings that you may want to adjust. Like for example, aspect ratio is a great one. We also have motion intensity, which obviously changes the rate of motion that the images are moving. And then this last one here is actually pretty cool. It's loop video and you might just say, okay, is it just looping the video? What it actually does is create a scene at the end of the video to kind of morph it back into the beginning. So you truly get this video that looks really cool and loops over and over in a seamless sort of fashion. So I think we've talked enough about this. Let's generate this and we will start with film. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna generate the video in all four of them and put them side by side so you can kind of take a peek at what each of them look like. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, now as you can see here, we have the four different outputs. They all have some unique attributes to them. I personally love the animation looking style. I think the colors are really nice in that. Honestly, for the top two, you might even need to use like a video editor of some sort to kind of color correct that and really bring out some vibrancy. And then I think those could actually be really great as well. But overall, just check how smooth the animations are between all of them. I think they're really, really cool. And this is just the release of the platform. So you'd only expect this all to get a whole lot better. That's all it takes to create a video in Crea AI. 
It's incredibly easy to do and it's actually pretty fun. So let's get into some of the things that I really like about the platform. From an abstract video perspective, I don't know if there's anything else better on the market. This thing creates incredibly cool looking videos with very, very minimal input needed from the user. So for that first video I showed you in the beginning, I didn't even add a text prompt. I just provided Kraya with that image and it went and took it in just an incredible direction. Another pro of this platform is I produced pretty much every one of these outputs in under three minutes. So you're waiting for a very short time to get a really, really cool video. So if you need something for background or B-roll or just for a loop, I think this could be an, an incredible tool to use. Additionally, the ability to change your aspect ratio and the intensity of the image is also a really nice plus. Now let's move on to a few of the cons within the platform. <laughs> First and foremost, they need a way for you to save your videos within the platform. Now you can download each of the videos, which is one way to do that, but it would be so nice to have some sort of mechanism to store all the videos you've created, just like they do with images. So I imagine that's coming soon, but it's something that's frustrating because if you don't download that video, it's gone. Another con that I realized is that if you're trying to produce a lifelike scene, it's probably going to be a little bit difficult. For one example, I tried to feed it a series of images that I thought did a really good job of evolving from one to the next. However, when I tried to print out that video, it was almost entirely incoherent and unusable. It's unfortunate that even with the prompts, real lifelike scenes probably aren't gonna come out the ways that you want them to. The output is unexpected and for abstract art, like that's an amazing feature. But when you have a very specific output that you want in mind, it may actually be a bit tough to achieve that, especially if it is more of a lifelike scene. Now, the final and probably biggest con is that I had to pay $60 for this month in order to access this. Now, they're going to be rolling it out for other plans and I believe that there's gonna be some hybrid models where you won't have to pay that much. But with all these new tools coming out like Runway and Pika and Midjourney, the costs start adding up over time and you really have to start considering what's worth it and what isn't. So I really hope they find a way to lower that price tag or provide some sort of hybrid model so that you're not forced to pay $60 a month to access this software. As I wrap up my experience with Crea AI's new generative AI video feature, I can confidently say that it's an impressive tool. The process is straightforward and fun, allowing users to generate impressive videos with minimal effort. If more affordable plans become available, I think this is a must have for any creative toolkit. If you enjoy this exploration into Crea's new video feature, be sure to subscribe for more AI tool reviews and explorations. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with the tool in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going and learn from each other as we explore these new frontiers of AI generated video. Hope you all enjoyed and see you in the next one.